<laughs> this is gonna be funny. Okay, so today we got quite a treat for you. Uh, more like a how-to, not really a treat. Quite a treat. Yeah. I like it. The treat was the ice cream we had before we started doing this. That was a treat. That is a treat. So, uh, but Jason's going to show us uh, what, one or two techniques. On one technique. One technique. All right. Well, so just one. Well, two techniques, one hinge. Two techniques, one hinge. Yeah. All right. So, those <laughs> techniques on one hinge, on uno hinge. Oh wow. So, so we uh, we got that. We got this. So anyway, show us uh, show us your hinging techniques. Okay. So we've done wood glue. We've done gorilla glue. Now we're going to do epoxy. Uh, we've used Vaseline or petroleum jelly. We've used um, uh, three Marvel Mister Oil for the lubrication of the hinges. Of the hinge points, and, yes. Uh, now we're going to use Redline Racing Oil, or really you can use any two-stroke oil that we mix with our fuels. Um, this is a tip I picked up from Kevin Garland over at KG Aviation, and uh, it works works really well, actually. I've, I've tried it out, and it's, it's actually probably one of my new favorite ways to... Well, is it, is it better than the other ones, or is it just a different uh, way? It's just a different way. Oh, I just okay. think it, it's a little easier to apply. Um, the petroleum jelly is nice because you can blob it on and then heat it with the gun like we did. Yeah. And it, it runs through. Uh, this is a little different, so we'll start with that step, and then we'll move on. We're going to use some uh, epoxy with the epoxy gun, and we'll get the hinges in, and right. we'll have another method down. There we go. So first thing, I've got an old bottle of two-stroke racing oil that I've had around for years. I actually now use the 16-ounce bottles. That's a big bottle. Yep. So all you got to do here is just put a little blob on your on your uh, wax paper. Always use wax paper, guys, just cool. like that. That's all you need. It's actually about ten times more than you need, but whatever. That's all right. You know, yeah. we say little blob. Yep, a little we're kind of we're kind of big there. guys. So. so all you do is just fold the hinge between your fingers, and then dab it in there. And the funny thing is, or the nice thing is, when once you work it, if you look closely here, it starts coming out the other side. It already comes out the other side, so you know you have good coverage inside. So that's what I like. It's really easy. Doesn't get all over the barbs. It's, it's so really basically simple. like a penetrating oil, yeah, it just a, automatically does it all exactly. for you. Exactly, so you just take it. And no heating. No heating and no cleanup and no worry about it running all over and all that good stuff. We're just going to go ahead and do all our hinges here. Now, I often wondered, you know, like later on, do the hinges get like really messy with the oil? You in know, there? they don't. I've never really had that problem. I don't know if it's because when we're done, we take We're probably uh, cleaning them all the time. Yeah, well, you yeah. clean off the excess epoxy using the denatured alcohol. So I don't know if that removes the oil or, but I've never had, I've never looked in and seen a bunch of dirt collecting on, on the hinges, which is nice because you wouldn't want that, obviously. But yeah, so the nice thing is, I mean, it's the perfect amount. It's got yeah, it's just, it just, just goes perfect and, on it. Yeah. Don't have to worry about the little holder we made or anything like that. So. All right, so all the other techniques that we showed you, just throw those out no, the window no, no, now. No, 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 no. If, if that's what you have and that's what you like, there is no you know, one answer. Come on, John, you know better than that. Yes, there is. <laughs> it's your answer. Especially right? in math. <laughs> well, yeah, well, but we're not doing math here. Okay? That's true, that's true. So let's calm down. I try to make it one answer because I just don't want to be complicated. Well, you know, you know, just, I can't think that much. Why stop now, John? No, well, that's true. Okay, so next right. thing we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and do the cleanup because I skipped a step on uh, getting the... Uh, mold release off of the hinges, so we'll go ahead and get a little denatured alcohol. So technically, we should do that before. Yeah, usually you want to do that just because you don't want to, be, you know, working with these things. But the nice thing is, there's not a lot of excess, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, so it's easy to work around there. it. Yeah. There we go. All right. Well, I could, I could probably do those if we're sliding down this way, and then while you move on to the next uh, thing. Or do you need all of them? Let's get it finished because I don't want right, to. He doesn't trust me. He doesn't not that trust I don't me. trust you. It is denatured alcohol. I might start drinking. Well, yeah. It's already, yeah, it's late, so I need it's, to. It's 9 a.m. I might as well start drinking. Yeah, I know. What do you think, Reed? Yeah, well, let's, you know. Anybody ever call you Reed? Yeah, a lot of people <laughs> do. Mostly Mr. Reed. Yeah, I know. That's where I was going with that. Which is always funny. When I'm out with a bunch of my students, they're always calling me Mr. Reed, and people go, why do they call you Mr. Reed? I said, because I demand it. That's pretty good. You know, my, you know, my wife demands the kids call her when, she, when they want something? Mm. Queen. Queen. Yeah. It's really funny when we're in a store and the kids walk up, excuse me, Queen? Can I? It's like, oh, man. People laugh and laugh. So then we'll take these hinges off of this wax paper over here. This is a separate little chunk. I have wax paper under the wing for when we... Uh, do the epoxy. Do the epoxy, but and then you get rid of that so we don't. Throw it away. Yep. Kind so that makes nice. it easy. Kind of a nice little setup. Okay, next step. Now we're moving on. So we've got our epoxy gun here. Uh, we've already test fit uh, the extreme flight planes ship with the hinges installed. 
uh, slid in on the wings, so you don't so have to worry about the fit. You know, and you don't want to keep pulling them in and out all the time. Just you know, know that it fits, and then pull them out, it's and like then work you, with them. It's like you know where I was going with that comment, John. Oh well, I did, yeah, actually, but uh, you know. So okay. the epoxy gun, I just like to squeeze out maybe a quarter ounce or so, just to make sure we've got a good mix. Yeah, you can see the and, and this has a clear tip on it too, so you can see actually the mix right there. Yeah. And you can see as it as it runs, it goes from like a clearish. Yeah. To the oh, you can see that. Yeah, you can see that right in so there. So you know that it's it's mixed well. So I set this here for a reason. We'll go over that later. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do, kind of like with the wood glue or the Gorilla glue, I'm just gonna put the, the mixing tip in here. Get a little bit of glue. I just get a little squeeze. Make sure we got some epoxy in there. From the hinge goes in. Thank you. Down here, so it's nice and level and a little more steady. I don't know. Epoxy is kind of like wood glue in that it cleans up a lot easier than the Gorilla glue. Especially with rubbing alcohol. And it doesn't uh, doesn't expand. Exactly. So well, getting a little drip on the hinge line I'm not too worried about or the bevel line I'm not too worried about it. Okay. And then I've got my, our little weights there. Weights set up over there. And then I always set the gun over to the side and with the cup under it so it drips into it. That Let's makes sense. And then we can also Put a little bit on the hinges just to get good coverage. Rather have a little bit of squish out than not enough epoxy and have a hinge come loose down the road. I'll start this in and work our way down. All right. Again, we don't have to worry about it being perfectly perpendicular. Let's push that in as far as we need to. And there we go. We'll I like we went over that on the other ones. Once you get them all in, you flex rotate it. it back, flex it, and then it's going to line them up. So funny, you used to be real anal about that. You know, I'd get it in there, I'd get an uh, angle and put it on there and make sure it was all nice. And then realize that, well, that was dumb. Yeah. I know some people that will glue one side and then the other. And to me, that's just too. Yeah, see, that's crazy. You're leaving yourself open for, for that. It to be problem. off, yep. Yeah. Hey, you better off doing it all at once and be done with it. It's, yeah, especially with, you know, that's why I use the longer cure glue for a couple reasons, actually. So the longer cure time on epoxies make for a little bit more give, forgiving, a little less brittle wood. So with the vibration of our gas engines, uh, it's better to use the longest you can. Well, and they've, they've proven that, you know, it's stronger. Yep. It's stronger epoxy. And like you said, it's, it's, more, it's a little more flexible. Yep. So I, I use... When I'm building any plane, really, I use a minimum of 30 minutes. I don't like to go much shorter than that. Uh, yeah, five unless minutes you, is way too brittle. Five minutes for at the field if you need a quick repair. Exactly. That's what that's for. I mean, exactly. you don't you don't need it in the shop. Yeah, and with even with the you know 120 minute like this, it you know you leave it overnight and that's cured. It's like a rock. So yeah. No, there's no worry there. I agree with that. We I concur we with agree. you on that. We agree. Yeah, we agree. Okay. Yeah, there's something wrong now. The universe is not not right. It's a bizarro world. All right, so we got this side almost down here. Now, if this were just me working, I would have probably done the wing side first, just because once this is done, yeah, it's a little easier. Um, but it's not a big deal. So, do we have any major squish out we need to? Yeah, right wipe there. Up probably here? Or right there in this one right here. Threw it away. I'm brilliant. And so he's putting on uh, DH alcohol on the paper towel. For those of you who can't Never see too off, shy off camera. With it, I, always, I don't want to get the hinge too much because, like we talked about, it can get, remove some of the oil. Yeah. Later, we won't worry about that so much, but now we are. There we go. That looks pretty good. Just make sure we don't have a ton. Of, so when we put it together, it gets all over the wing. Yeah. Okay. No runs, no big deal. Okay. I'll get another towel for the next one. Yeah, let me set this here while you get that one. Right bags there. Ready to go. Perfect. All right. So our next step is the exact same thing. We're just going to go down the line here. Trying to be a little more neat on this one. I put a little more on this side because it's a little harder to get the epoxy on the hinges for this one. Yeah, so the way it's just... Um, so I try to get a little bit better coating and then not really worry about it. Make sure we get a little squish out and call it good. And I try to be a little quicker because as we're sitting with it up on, on edge like this, it's it'll run It's going down, down yeah. Eventually ends up down here. Exactly, which is awesome. So you dynamically balance your wings, right? That's right. Somebody's got to do it. Yeah. So, good news is, though, with epoxy, just a little film of it's all you really need, and it's it's going to hold on. 
Any of it run too far down? Are we looking okay? Actually, yeah, we're looking okay. Yeah, I still see it, so I'll just turn it this way so it sort of doesn't run so fast. Yeah, okay. And All right. Let's work from your end. Work our hinges in there. One at a time from one end to the other. Yeah. All started. Two people does make that easier. Yeah. Excellent. Amazing. There we go. I'm going to just slide all the way in. If there's anything I'm just letting difficult. you make because you're playing, so I don't want to be. I always push it all the way down until it touches. Be responsible for anything. So, if I hold it up here for the camera, you can see I've got the hinge line as tight as it'll get. Then we just flex it a couple times. And it's staying pretty tight. It's working its way out a little bit, but we'll tape it here in a minute. So, just work it a few times, make sure it's good and straight, and then you go ahead and hold that for me, John. I'm the hold model. While I'm holding this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, give us a like if you like this stuff. Uh, but we love you to subscribe and stick with us and see all the other stuff that we're going to do. And you know what? If you know a guy named Ron Powell, hit him up and tell him to contact us because uh, we did the drawing for the drone and we still haven't been able hey, to Ron. contact him. Hey, What's Ron? What's up with you, you man? He subscribed and he disappeared on us. Um, I did leave a message on his YouTube channel on one of his videos. If anybody doesn't believe me, you can go check that. Um, <laughs> but uh, what should we do about that, you think, John? You think we should give him 45, nah, well, 60 we'll days? We'll give him a little bit more time, and uh, then I guess we'll just pull, pull again. Okay, cool. So Somebody's getting that thing. I, so I guess what, we, what we're saying is it's not too late. So if you subscribe, you can still win a drone. Well, but we probably should use the 500 think people. Yeah, the 500? I think, I think okay, we should go from the 500. Fine. I was trying to entice people. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, gonna, that's a nice thing, but we're going to have another drawing for, yeah, for all of them above that. So so what I do here is I'm, I'm kind of wiping the whole area in case I got some fingerprints or anything like that. Or I got fingerprints. Or Jan. Well, yeah. Because, so, you know, I just got done with a jelly donut. the whole area yeah. nicely here. And, again, that's another nice thing about epoxy. It, it just you know, cleans right up, and we don't have any residue anywhere. That's yeah, true. Like that. So now, let's think about this. Okay. Well, you want to tape it? We're going to tape it. That's what we're doing. Okay, where did my right here? Thank you, sir. As, as they hold it by the hinge. Yeah, right. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't, nobody noticed that, right? No, I mean, none of the cameras saw that. Good thing you didn't point it out. Right? Yeah, yeah, that would have been. We can do whatever we want, nobody ever notices. So, uh, do you do you so, tape it with a little bit of an angle yeah, like I, I do? Let's fold an oh, okay. And then give it, um, you know, inch or so of deflection. And tape this end here like that. Now, now that, that one's on, you can kind of let it rest. The reason for this, guys, is so we can we can put a little tension on it with the, mm -hmm. with the other side. So we'll kind of try to get them similar here as far as tension is concerned. I push a little bit on this one so it's right with that one. There we go. Be generous with the tape. And then also, when you when you remove the tape, just remember to pull back. It's close back on it so you're not lifting the covering as, as possible. much as possible. Yeah. And that was way too long. I got a little too generous. Yeah. And we're smart about it this time, unlike the last time, we, uh, we did the side without the control hump first, so once we're done, flip it around, lay it flat, there we go, and now just by pushing down a little bit on it, you actually get a little bit of tension, you have the tape struggling to... All right, let's restick that. Let's I, think I, pushed, that. I think I pushed it a little bit too much. Yeah, so. My apologies. Well, that's what I thought that was a lot. Do a little bit less, a little less, a little less. About half an inch by the root there. There you go. All right. Because then what happens is the higher angle you put it at, the less is actually gripping because it's bridging the gap. Yeah. There we go. That should hold a little better. All right. So I'm not going to push down. There. See, now, now I got it now. See? Now it works perfect. Beautiful. It's all a um, all a, a work in progress. As, as you continue on, you you adapt. I've done this hundreds of times, and every time something different happens. So. Well, you haven't done a hundred times with me. That's no, true. So that's the difference, right? That is the, <laughs> that is the problem here, I think. Yeah, I think so. I, I'm, uh, I'm after me. I agree with you on that. So, one other thing to talk about, and this is kind of um, it's true whenever you're working with epoxy or any glue, really, we're all fiddlers, we're all builders, we're all, I guess, kind of, I don't know, curious by nature. So you always want to go and look and check, check on the part that you just glued. Yeah. Don't mess with it. Yeah, just once, once you're done. Once it's glued and set up, I'll set this aside, I'll leave it till tomorrow, 24 hours, I'll come out and take the tape off and look at it then. Uh, I will give it one more look over right now, just to make sure we don't have any big blobs of glue or anything like that, but 
leave it alone guys that's uh that's one thing i mean as a young modeler when i started when i was a kid you know 10 years old i'd glue something that was two hour epoxy or hour epoxy i'd go inside come out 20 minutes later and be looking at it and pull apart and that part would never properly be bonded so yeah the key is leave it alone let it set up trust the away. technique yep trust the, the, so, the method so yeah so there you go that's epoxy on the hinges and red line for uh the lubrication of the knuckles uh you can mix and match if you haven't watched our other videos on doing the rudder with the um the gorilla glue and the petroleum jelly go check that out uh if you haven't checked out the elevators with wood glue and marvel mystery oil go check that out so we're trying to give you guys all the all the different methods we've used over the years and the pros and the cons uh, i think for ease of use, wood glue is my favorite. Epoxy is my second. Epoxy is obviously stronger. It just takes a little more no. work in, especially if you're mixing by hand, not using the gun. Uh, as far as the lubrication is concerned, I really like this Redline oil. Uh, good job, Kevin. Thank you for the tip. Um, the advantage of, of, of you know the wood glue, the resin wood glue, is that it it is a little bit more flexible, mm -hmm. and uh, you know all glue is stronger than the wood. Yep. So regardless of which one you use, it's going to be you know if you if you just have enough contact there. Mm -hmm. You're, you're well, cool and the trade-off is you know, you have to put it into the syringe to put it in because the normal wood glue tips don't necessarily work. So there's a, there's a trade-off. Yeah, there, yeah. But they all work. They all work really well. And yeah, it's whatever you happen to have. We're gonna fly the bejeebers out of this plane. and We'll see what happens. Bejeebers is a technical term. Don't it is unless you're qualified. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. All right. So stay tuned for some more how to's flying videos and reviews and hopefully you like this give us a thumbs up and a subscribe it would be wonderful and we will be talking at you soon